What is up you guys, it's me Nubia here and on today's video I will be showing you an in-depth way of how I interlock my locks and the do's and don'ts of interlocking your locks. So if you're thinking about interlocking your locks, you've been retwisting or you're starting your locks and you want to know what maintenance method I use, I will show you what I do, how I do it, why I do it, and why I don't do it the way that you might think I should do it. Okay, let's get into it. I actually just handed my hair. I just want to show you a view of my roots before. I used to interlock my hair every four weeks, but now I do every five weeks. Yeah. It doesn't look bad once you get to week four, but it's something about week four, between week four and week five, that the hair just grows all of a sudden crazily. So this is what my hair looks like. So it doesn't look bad. I'm not saying that my hair looks bad at all. I'm just saying that my locks aren't as like thick as other locks. Once it grows out enough, I have to maintain it. What do I use to interlock my hair? I use a bobby pin. Believe it or not, I use a bobby pin. It's big, almost three inches long. Some people, they use like a crochet hook but they use different things. They have like, I'll show the pictures of the stuff that people use. I use that on other people's hair, but not on my hair. I don't use that on my hair. Cause this is, I get through things so much easier with this y'all that I was not getting with the other stuff that I was trying to use. If you've been here a long time, you know I like, I used to like getting my nails really long. I use it when my nails are super long y'all. Yes, not playing. And I use it when my nails are super short. So this should be good for y'all. And now let's get into how you interlock your hair. This bobby pin, right? Find the lock that you want to use. I will just use this one right here. Since my hair is getting a little thicker, I like to feel around to make sure that there's no other loose hairs. I like to just make sure that any loose hairs still end up staying in that lock. I'm holding these ends right here. Right here, boom and i feel the new growth my goal is to make sure that my last loop ends down doesn't always work but it's my favorite way to do it and i feel like i could do this probably about three times before i need to stop so i'm going to start at the top pull this loop right through take the end of my lock put it through this loop of the bobby pin and pull it up then i'll do the side right Put the bottom of my lock into this loop, pull. Then do, do it like this, pull it, boom, and yeah, that's pretty much all. I, I wouldn't do it again. Don't do it again and don't try to do yours too tight. Trust me when I say doing it too tight you literally won't sleep. It'll be like a new fresh batch of box braids. But don't do it too loose as well. Just you'll get used to it. You know, when I used to do this, it used to take me a whole week because I used to be so tired. Now I get this bit done in four hours. If you check the timestamps, you'll see where I talk about the do's and don'ts. Yeah. Since I actually just handed my hair, 
I'm not supposed to put oil in it for another two days. So that's why you guys didn't see me put oil in it or any moisturizer. But if I was, I would have done it right when I got out of the shower. The only reason why I don't do it right after I interlock is because I want to, I like massaging. I love massaging the oils into my scalp. And so it would be kind of dumb if I were to get my hair all cute right and then put oils and all that stuff and be rubbing on the fresh interlock but boom let's get into do's and don'ts quickly don't do this on dry hair you have no business manipulating your hair your locks loose hair at all if it's super de duper de dry so definitely make sure that you at least if you're not gonna wash your hair you're going to spray it with some mist don't switch between methods if you interlock your locks don't decide okay every three months I'm gonna interlock my locks and then every four months I'm going to freaking I don't know retwist or crochet no if you're gonna interlock stick with interlocking interlock locks look different than retwisted locks bleaching affects interlock versus retwisting differently you know so that goes to show you like it's totally different your locks will look totally different if you go in between and also it's not good for your locks to be retwisting one month and then the next doing the interlocking like you're gonna see you're gonna notice you're gonna see like oh she must have switched in between methods trust me when i did hair you could always tell what somebody's going through how much anxiety they had whether they itched their scalp how much they took care of their hair don't do this process more than once a month wait those four weeks i really recommend five you don't even have to get your hair interlocked as much which is what i like and it still looks good and then if your locks are really small like mine are you have to make sure that you're not going over two months you know what i mean because if the root is thinner no matter how healthy your hair is yes it'll take a little bit more for it to give out but you don't want your new growth to get so heavy like you don't want your new growth to be having all that weight from the rest of your lock so just make sure that yes you're not doing it too often but you're also doing it often enough do which is also kind of a don't do four point rotation okay that is the most beautiful looking lock you will have if you do the four point rotation i seen somebody go through the same loop don't do that you'll notice if you have that in your lock your lock will go down right and then you'll notice a gap a complete gap a gap that goes right through the lock because you went through it um too much so even if you do a three point i feel like you'll be okay but a four point is what's best for me and what i find works best for the health of my lock and the locking process because even though i put it all together and not it all together doesn't mean the hair is just automatically going to stay together you know but i feel like the four point helps with that don't immediately interlock your hair and get the styling tight okay the retwist even gives you a little more give than an interlock would this bit is box braided basically crocheted so don't get the okay now you're gonna throw in a fresh set of cornrows good luck really good luck for your scalp good luck for your edges all that i don't really do my edges i don't interlock my edges but that's because my edges i got birth control edges right now so i'm not trying to put no extra stress on it do make time you may not have to make the whole day but when i first started i don't know if i said this when i first started interlocking my locks it took me a good couple days and then i started getting down once the pandemic started and now it takes me at the most four hours at the least three so try to set apart the morning just set apart a good amount of time whenever you're deciding to do this don't don't watch this video now you got a whole bunch of stuff you got to do in two hours and get to get in you know like take some time to yourself that's it y'all i don't really have too much else to say because i feel like it's self-explanatory if you guys have and i'm talking about any other questions please 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 comment below and i will get back to you in a timely manner other than that be sure to check out my shorts so you can see just more in videos more lock videos that's where i do most of my lock videos so check out my shorts make sure to subscribe and comment below if you like this video i will catch you guys on the next one all right bye